Right, so today is the moon eclipse, uh, Monday, 21st of Jan, 2019. And um, this is the nearest uh, I could do to uh, illustrate the, the moon eclipse, but um, what I want to talk about now is um, is the um, eclipse of England, if you like. Now, it's been about, really, nearly, a little bit more than, but nearly to three years I've, I've left Britain. And uh, to summarize, as you all know, well, I'm talking to my British friends now, um, you all know w w what a big mess now the, the country represents. I'm talking about England. So, right. So basically, yes, I'm in Russia now, as you can see. Russia, yes, it is all snow. It is all snow. Snow is everywhere. Um, I, I'm sorry I'm just doing this. I don't want to, I don't have the time now to dress up and light up and do the proper video of myself. But it's plenty of my face on the, on the internet all over. So just a few words, really, because... My heart is bleeding, I must admit, um, for the uh, situation in the country, I mean England again. But uh, <clears throat> the thing is, right, looking back now, there's a good news and there's a bad news. Okay, where shall I start? Okay, I start from the good news. Um, the good news, uh, three years in Russia now, and I think uh, if I miss anything, I miss the people, people of England, um, um, and um, uh, really, um, honest to God, uh, some of you told me, oh, you're going to miss us. Well, I do then. All right. You were right. I do miss you. Uh, but um, uh, obviously, good job. We have Skype nowadays, or people can travel, etc., etc. So we can still meet up. I don't. I don't want to go back by any by any any you know by any means. I don't want to go back to England. Uh, I'm, I'm too busy in Russia now uh, as well as. But uh, the bad news is that what, what I see happening is that my heart bleeds for the for, for those people. Because I don't think they deserve really uh, the situation that is um, going on now in England with all this stupidity. I remember when I was leaving, there were there were dark clouds uh, in the sky that day, and I was talking to some English guy, and he said, "Oh, it's bad news uh, that you're leaving on this day." I said, "No, no, no, I'm, I'm leaving from here. I'm leaving this place, and you stay in here. So those clouds on top of you, not on top of me, because I'm going to fly through them." So in a way, it was a bit of a joke, of course, but uh, one way or the other, I'm not really happy that some sort of prediction. Uh, now is working, kind of, you know. Um, uh, sadly, sadly, you can you can see so many things happening. It's, it's just a total mess, and um, obviously now from from Russia, I, I see it in a different way, and um, uh, I mean. Honestly, guys, in, in, in my opinion, it's, it starts from the head. It starts from the top. I don't, I know, I know, sorry, I know it's not a, it's not a, a revelation for you. Um, so, but, but again, what, 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 why the top lost its way? Mm, I think it's the process happening all over the world. Although it's some kind of a management crisis and rather top management crisis or rather, Really, as we say in Russia, that the, any any fish, if, if it start, it gets rotten. It gets rotten from from the head. So, if anything, if any fish gets rotten, it gets rotten from the head. It starts from the head. So, obviously, it's the case. But um, it's like I said, it's the world over crisis. But again, why? Well, in my opinion, again, is because the 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 heads, if you like, the top management. 
um, is losing their heads. But why they are they? Well, it's two reasons there. I think there's pressure from inside and the pressure from outside. What, what they experience uh, or they must do. Uh, and, and the pressure from outside is always there. Uh, obviously, in, in any country, for any top management, uh, there's some pressures which are against uh, the country's interest or even against them themselves. But uh, the pressure from inside is the, um, oh, you see the times now ticking, uh, the pressure from inside is, is the inner spiritual, in um, uh, you know the the inner process that that goes on in in everybody's head and soul, if you like. So, and I think in the past couple of centuries, uh, more and more we can see that uh, people lose directions. That all the golden posts uh, have been moved. Uh, uh, and talking about England, uh, I mean, they they claim to be the the country of where the Christianity is uh, the the main. Uh, view, shall we say, the understanding of the world, how it works, um, is based or should be based on Christian understanding. But I think it's all been now lost. Oh, I have to go. So, anyway, uh, in my view, unfortunately, this process going to go further. I don't really see the, the way out of it, to be honest, uh, unless there's some kind of a miracle or some kind of a war or some kind of a proper, proper, proper crisis happens, which will turn the things on its head. But um, I mean, it's very unlikely. So, and well, the bad news are then that I don't want to go back. I mean, it's good news for me, but bad news for for the situation in the country, meaning that, uh, you know, meaning a lot of things, isn't it? That, that it's not good. It's not good in, in, in England. So all I can say in this situation, in this situation as it is, I suppose every person is still responsible for his own self, for his own inner situation. And, and uh, each person can, um, at least in theory, uh, do something about it and sort out the sort out his own understanding of stuff. Um, disregard the, the or take a, a break from the outside pressures. Take a break from the inner uh, I, I, inside pressure and, and and find a place of or, or time for peace and reflect and think about what, what are the values, what are the golden posts of myself and where am I going and um, what am I doing in, under these circumstances which are going to be more and more messy uh, with each day in my understanding. I think it's the beginning. Uh, I don't want to say the beginning of the end, but it's the beginning of, of, of more and more mess in England. And it's getting worse, and it will get even worse. So, so, and obviously all I can say, I mean, uh, I've, I've changed so many, uh, a few times in my life I had big changes. And again, like this, going back to Russia wasn't easy at all. And the first couple of years was uh, very difficult. I mean, extremely difficult for me personally. So now it's kind of, I'm getting used to many things. And um, the most important, I've realized that uh, you have to have um, um, golden post inside your own uh, inner life, shall we say. And for people who are religious in, a, in the slightest way even, uh, obviously, I can only say that, uh, I mean, they know it themselves, but still, uh, of course, you have to just uh, pray to God and, and, and hold, hold his hand and, and, and try and follow, try and follow um, God's will, not your will. Sometimes it works better than your own thinking, because you see, this is what human logic and human thinking sometimes digress and, and make mistakes, and they're, they're, they're very costly. So that's it. That's it. 
I can only, I mean, I'm, I'm honest, honestly, uh, uh, my heart is bleeding for, for English people, the, the friends I knew, anybody really, in a way, in a way, I mean, it's a pity. Um, honest to God, the, the nice, they were nice to me, and, and just generally nice people, as anywhere. I mean, same as in Russia, don't get me wrong. Um, so, wish everybody all the best. I wish everybody to find your own peace and your own way amidst all the mess that you are experiencing. And obviously, if I can be of any help, you know where I am. Okay, I'm on Skype, I'm on wherever, Facebook, wherever, anything. Um, so I'm always there for anybody actually who can speak English and who wants to speak to me. Yes, why not? So all the best, everybody. All the best. Uh, Happy New Year, 2019, and I hope you'll go through the eclipse of England more or less um, successfully. Cheers. Bye-bye.